Hi, my name is Kim, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own pinch pot, just like this one, uh, with your lump of air dry clay. Before we get started, you're going to want to put down some newsprint on your work surface just to protect your table or your desktop. So, when you got that ready, let's see how it's done. So, to make our pinch pot, we're going to start with our piece of clay. This is just a piece of air dry clay that we're going to use, and we're going to need to form this with our hands. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to need to do is take off my ring. So if you wear any jewelry, any rings, or even a bracelet, it's a good idea to go ahead and take those off just so they don't get messy while you work. And then with our rings off, we're ready to go. So I've got my wedge of clay here um, and it's in this little kind of uh, almost like a pie piece shape. And what I need for my clay to be though is a sphere. So around uh, like a ball. So the first thing I need to do is make it into that shape. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of push it on my table uh, down. And I'm gonna make it first into a cube, into a square. And that'll just be step one to getting our um, sphere shape. So I'm pushing that down. I've got my neat little uh, square here. And uh, I've got that it's a pretty good little square or cube. So I'm going to now push those edges in just to round them up to help me make that sphere shape that I, that I want for this project. So I'm going to push in those corners and I'm going to do the same on the edge around the top here and push those in and I'm going to push these in. So I'm just kind of moving around. You can see I'm getting closer to the sphere shape that I want. And now I'm just going to kind of move it around in the palms of my hands. I'm keeping my hands a little bit cupped um, just so they have that curved shape that I want for the sphere. And I'm going to press around my sphere. And mine's a little not as sphere shaped as I want. So I'm just going to keep working this for a second. I think you can see. I'm going to pass it a little bit. So I've got this nice sphere. This is pretty good. It's not a perfect sphere and that's okay. And now I'm going to look for a spot to be uh, where I start my, the hole of my pot. And I'm going to go with the part that I think is uh, kind of the most uh, unsmooth, which I think is this part. There's kind of like a little seam there. I'm going to use that for, for my starting point. And to start off, what I'm going to do is take my thumb I'm going to push it into this uh, sphere. I'm going to hold the bottom of the clay in my other hand with that cupped shape that I want. And I'm going to push my thumb in and I'm going to make sure I don't go all the way through. I'm just going to push it down a little bit. All right, so I've got my thumb in there. And now what I'm going to do um, inside the clay, I'm going to move my thumb a little bit like this just to widen the base. So I'm not gonna move this part because I don't want these walls to be moved yet. I'm just gonna do this to widen up the inside of the clay. So I'm widening that up and I'm still supporting it with my, um, with my other hand there. And I've widened that out a bit. So I've got a nice deep hole and it's a little bit wider on the inside. Now I'm ready to pinch up to make the walls of this pot. And what I'm going to do is place my hands just like this and I'm going to pinch this clay and I'm going to just move it all the way around. And I want to make sure that I'm going all the way to the base when I press so that I'm making a more vertical pot. So I'm just going to pinch all the way around again, supporting the bottom um, with my other hand. And you'll notice too, right? When I'm pinching, I'm pinching like this and I'm using these kind of like pads of my fingers. I'm not pinching like this, right? This little like kind of crab pinch. That would, that would kind of break through the clay. So when I pinch around and kind of move all the way around with those long pinches. And you're gonna to start to see, right? Some little cracks and things, that's okay. I'm gonna pinch around. When you're pinching, you want your walls to be about the same thickness all the way around. So that's something just to kind of uh, watch out for. Um, and you want them to be the same thickness because you want them all to dry around the same rate. Um, if they're very thick walls, right? It's gonna take a very, very long time to dry. Um, and then thinner walls, of course, will dry much faster. 
Okay, so I've done this um, kind of long pinch all the way around. I'm gonna look at the shape of my pot and I'm gonna do a couple more little pinches just around the top here um, to bring out a little bit more of the shape I want. And you're gonna notice, right, this is, this is um, cracked the top also, right? It's not, it's not even, that's okay. Because the next thing we're gonna do is start smoothing. You can take your fingers and just kind of smooth the clay uh, to make it smooth, all right? We're gonna go down here to show this crack. I'm just gonna smooth the clay all over, covering up all of the different cracks in my clay. Oops, there we go. Smoothing this out. Now I've got a lot of cracks in mine, so I'm gonna be smoothing this for a while. So I wanna show you uh, what you would do after you smooth the clay out. So let's imagine I've already smoothed all this out and I am about done with my pot. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, because I because I want mine to be a little, almost like a little dish where I could put like change or my jewelry or something, I'm gonna tap the bottom of it against my surface to make it a little bit more flat so that my pot will stand up straight. Um, and then you can see now the bottom is a bit flat. Um, and then if I wanted to, I could also um, take a toothpick or some other little tool and carve my name in here, or I could carve some decorative edging around um, before, uh, just to kind of give a little bit of an edge to the pot. But after you've got it smoothed, you've got all the pieces carved in that you like, um, then you're done. Your next step would be to just let this dry um, for at least 24 hours. All right, now here's the pot that I was working on. Um, and I've let it dry, I've let it sit, actually I let it sit for about 30 hours since so it's 24, um, and it is thoroughly dry. You can see I didn't really rub out all the cracks or smooth out all the inconsistencies, um, and I think that my pot in, looks pretty fine. Um, if you want to, do, of course, you know, you can smooth yours out all the way before you let it dry. It's just a matter of time. Um, and now that it's done, I can leave it as this white, the um, color of that clay. I think that that look, makes a nice natural kind of look. Or you could paint it. You could get some acrylic paints and paint your pot just to kind of give it a nice little decorative edge. Either way, I think you end up with a very cute, uh, charming little pot. Um, each one is unique, right? Because they're all handmade, which I think is a really nice element to these. Um, one more thing I wanted to say, when you're working with this clay, when you're done, of course, you want to wash your hands. Um, and it's also a good idea to put on some hand lotion because the clay can, um, it can dry out your skin. So that's just something to consider. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed this and that you end up with a nice little pinch pot of your very own.